Hey guys, Kerplunk here. Um, I was just on my Paladin, and I wanted to switch my helmet out for a Hallowed Helm, so I did some vendor farming, and I could not find a Hallowed Helm to save my life. So I, I wished, I thought to myself, why can't I just make one of these things? I'm just testing out a build. Uh, if you don't have any in your stash, you're kind of screwed, right? Well, not true. <clears throat> if you go over to the TQ Vault um, GitHub page, they released a new uh, update about five days ago. I'll put the link in the description. If you don't know anything about Vault, definitely head here and check it out. It's a hoarder's dream. Um, you can save everything. Okay, so you, you download the latest update, you unzip it, and boot it up. And uh, Let me get in here and I'll show you, show you what I mean by creating an item. There's a new feature, um, there's a whole bunch of new features actually, um, but the first one I want to talk about, the, the most important one to me at least, is called the Forge. Uh, we'll go ahead and click on this. I want to create a hallowed helmet. You can see here I have two um, pieces. I have of the Magus headpiece and I have a hallowed helm headpiece. So I want to I want to put these two together and now you can do that you can see there's a prefix item a suffix item the base item and, and relics first and second relics we're not worried about the relics right now but I do I do want to talk about this so base item hallowed helm and if I want to add a suffix to it put the magus there right there's a button down here called forge put those together and now you can see we've got a hallowed helmet of the magus right there, easy as pie. Okay, if you've been farming for Stonebinder's Cuffs all day and you've been very unlucky, uh, well, no worries. You can smash all the uh, the items together and make a really good piece of um, Stonebinder's Cuffs. You can see here, Weightless of Griffin. I made that from Weightless and Griffin. Put those together and you got a Weightless, weightless Stonebinder's Cuff of Griffin. Okay, now that's, that's about all I want to show you with the Forge. There's a lot of other possibilities that you can do with this thing. There's a relaxed in God mode. I'm not going to go over those. Those are, those are talked about in the uh, author's page. It's worth checking out because um, it's going to be doing things that I won't actually ever do uh, because it's too much cheating, right? It's too much cheating. Uh, just know that it exists and there's documentation for it. Um, there's a few other things I do want to talk about. Then the, these are older features, but I do at least want to show you guys. Okay, let's go to the second page. Let's say I wanted to store shields here, and uh, and this bag is just called bag two on the forge. What if I want to like t tell my small brain with an icon? Well, you can now change the icons, right? So you you click on um, edit uh, icon. This this will take just a second to load up because it's loading all these assets. Uh, like I said, we want to do uh, shields here. You go to the bucklers tab and just pick any shield, right? You just drag it to the uh, the image tab here. Um, now you can use the default, which is what we're already using, or um, to change it to a custom, that's what we do here. We do a custom icon. You can also keep the number, which I think I want to do. And then if you want a pop-up, a tooltip to sh display, we can type here, and I'll just show you what that looks like. So now we're now I know if I hover over it, it will say shields, right? We hit apply, and now you can see bag two is now a shield, and you hover over it and it says shields, right? Easy. If I want to copy this configuration, you can do that. Copy configuration. If I want to make bag twelve um, to have the same configuration, you hit paste configuration. There we go. Now two and twelve are supposed to have shields in it, right? easy as pie there's a few other things you can do you can merge bags you can move bags you can move this bag to bag one you can merge this bag to other bags right so if you have multiple items together and you want to quickly move them I wouldn't do this it's a little scary for me but just know that those options are there okay this is just a quick taste and one last thing there's an item filter down here um, if you want to quickly highlight things as an example, I want to highlight all my arm pieces. You hit, you hit arm pieces, hit apply, and then after a few minutes, it'll it'll go through your entire stash and it'll highlight all your arm pieces. Right there's my three arm pieces in this in this bag. It's pretty easy. It's a quick search. It's not the best, but it's it's a nice feature. Um, okay, that's about it for the scope of this video. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, uh, make sure you subscribe on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.